everybody. We figured we'd fill you in because today is actually officially our first day on Christmas break. So we figured we'd tell you a little bit about what we've done. So uh, go ahead, Wayne. I went Christmas shopping. I got everything I need for the folks um, and for her. Um, all told, I don't even want to think about how much money I spent, but uh, everything's Better. done. So that's yeah. that's the big picture. That's the big thing. We got it all done in one day. So, like everybody was taking care of in one day. So yeah, whenever you look at it as you're going store to store, it's like, oh wow. But it is everybody getting taken care of. Uh, I'll go ahead and say this now. I will. I have done the weekend shopping before, I've done the online shopping before, and so on. Now, you really can't beat online shopping if you plan ahead. Well, this year I did not do that. So, you know, it, it was, you know, pay extra and get it on time for Christmas. Well, I don't really want to pay extra. So, um, just pro tip, actually take a day off during, like, the middle of the week or whatever and uh, go because there was nobody at any of the stores, um, especially when you're shopping for like a mother or girlfriend or whatever, you're going to need help, guys. So uh, the less customers, the better service, just saying. <laughs> Same so. goes for me, though. I mean, I had to get help where I was to. So, and people ask me for help every time that I am shopping. It doesn't matter what store I am at. I mean, does not matter what store I'm at. I can be at a place where I look like I do not belong, and people still ask me for help. And I try to help them if I know where something is. Like whenever I'm at Michaels, I always can help them. I know where everything is at there, so that's not an issue. But it is sort of funny that no matter where I go, I just have that look like I work there. I mean, I was wearing this today, and people thought that I worked at the stores I was <laughs> at, and I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know. Do you ever get that where you go? No, but I, I mean, look at me. I just, it's pretty obvious that I don't... It doesn't don't, matter how <laughs> I'm dressed. Like, I can understand if I'm wearing a blue shirt in Walmart, See, but... You look approachable. That's the problem. See, when I go Christmas shopping, I put on a ball cap. Um, I don't even bother, yeah. like, uh, combing the hair or anything. I wear a hoodie, blue jeans, and I just do not look approachable. I kind of, I even put on the, you know, a little eh, angry look just so, I, you know. <laughs> and to be honest with you, what? it's not hard to put that look on when you're, Christmas shopping because you're going they to be fresh overwhelming well you're going to get frustrated you're going to get uh, a little angry especially when they ring it up and it's like you know it said x on the thing and they're like well you got to prove it so take us over there and show me you know and it's it's annoying but it's worth it to get that little bit of uh money off that price tag so you know whatever Anyway, so after all the shopping, we came home, we each wrapped presents. He got home before me, so he wrapped all the presents for, for me before I got home. And he sort of let me know, like, hey, go stop by Dollar General, get some AAA batteries or whatever, and by the time you're done with that, I should be done. Sure enough, he was, so then I got home. He had to lock himself in the bedroom playing video games. So that I could wrap his presents. And then I wrapped the presents for his folks, my folks. I still haven't wrapped the kids' presents yet because I'm planning on putting... I got them all books. And I was planning on putting like $5 in the books. So I've got to go get some cash. And I've got to get those mailed out because most of the kiddos that we know um, do not live here. So we have to mail those out. Which means we need to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't be there for Christmas. Well, I don't know if you realize this or not, but when I got home, I didn't wrap presents immediately. I took an hour nap and then wrapped presents. Oh. Why? So because... are you saying that I took too long? No, I'm <laughs> saying 
I'm saying that I took the right amount of time now and uh, I wrapped presents and got it all done. Okay. Well, you want to show them the tree before it falls over? Again? No, like go take them and show them the tree. Here, I'll do it. Okay, guys, so here is our Christmas tree with all the little presents around it. And it might look like it's leaning a little bit because it probably is. This angel was Wayne's angel on the tree from when he was a kid. And then we've got a few new ornaments, but a lot of these ornaments were from students or from classes or things like that that we've had. So lots of them on there from that. But yeah, over here with the dazzling um, cactus wrapping paper, that's Wayne's stuff there. And then mine, I think, is mostly in the Santa with the hills in the background stuff. And then the presents for people, um, like our parents, we put in bags and then wrap, like it's wrapped and then put in the bags so that we remember whose is whose. His parents are going to be coming here on the 23rd to celebrate Christmas with us. But anyway, yeah, so that's our tree. Our beautiful little tree. There's also two little presents down there for Miss Kitty, too.